hold on. This man right here. Fuck is this guy doing? <laughs> fuck are you doing? Oh, what's going on everybody? What's up? Welcome back to the channel. You already know what it is. You see I got the laptop with the tuning software, everything connected. It's gonna be a good night tonight, baby. Getting it all set up. So um let's do a major super update for these guys. Big fucking facts. Let's get out and show them the end of bay, the work that we've done so far. It's my baby. All right, everybody. It's been a been a minute um, with the 2J not being on the channel. We've been working a lot behind the scenes on this car. As you can clearly see, it is literally, we have a couple things to do tonight and it's going to start up for the first time tonight. Um, I had to adjust a couple things in the tune software, which I still have to do. I have to connect my battery terminal because I have been, have, I've had that disconnected for a minute now so my battery doesn't die because there's constant power somewhere. I don't know why. Um, I did hook up my alter alternator cable right here, right before we uh, started. This is kind of just like a temporary thing. Um, what else did I have to do? So hold on, so when you was in the car just now, you was like actually like putting the base map and everything on? No, it came with a base map. Okay, so the software that came with it comes with a base map for this motor, but it doesn't have everything that you need to get the car started. So you need to adjust, hold on, let me grab the paper. Let me grab the paper. It's right. So, let me get back in the light. Once you get your wiring harness, this is the paper that you get, and it tells you everything, what goes where on your computer. So, with that being said, the base map that comes with the computer does not have everything set correctly for your motor. Um, on this paper, for an example, let's say, let's go to fuel pump. Auxiliary three is your fuel pump. Well. And the computer with the base map, it could come as auxiliary six for your fuel pump. That has to get changed or your fuel pump won't come on. So I went through this list, me and my tuner, Rick, um, shout out to Rick, by the way, he is an amazing guy. He helped me out a lot too. Um, we went through everything here and we haven't started it yet, but waiting. There, we just gotta get a, those couple things done and we're gonna get this bitch ranking. <laughs> so. All right, so look really quick guys really quick um i, I do want to mention this really quick that you know the winter is coming so the content might slow down i don't think it will but just to kind of be prepared and and be safe it might slow down uh we're still going to be vlogging and stuff like that uh but the reason i say might slow down is because we are unsure if we want to keep it like strictly about car stuff or like bullshitting with car stuff or if we want to add new stuff. So please, 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 please. Drop a comment down below. Let us know what you would like to see, like snowboarding, skiing, going on adventures, something like that. It's just not car season. The garage is going to be cold. We got a heater, but the garage is still going to be cold. Um, yeah. So, you know, different content is always good. Being yeah. different is awesome. Yeah. Um, regardless, like I said, you know, at the end of the day, we're still going to be recording. We're still going to be vlogging. We're still going to be trying to, trying to get footage and stuff like that. Um, we're just unsure of what you guys want to watch so please anybody that watches us let, let us know let us know if you're down for that you know just regular vlogging like he said you know snowboarding uh skiing four wheel four wheeler riding like we're gonna spice it up don't get me wrong we're not gonna be fucking you know going to the top of a mountain and just going down like no we're gonna spice it up but um <laughs> but still we're still gonna try and do car stuff because there's still a bunch of stuff on the Integra that's not finished that we still have to get done. My Supra, once we hear it start up for the first time, you know, it's been anticipation. My dad's been impatient. He's like, come on, let's do this. Um, you know, the Supra needs the exhaust work. The ST needs a new wing. Um, you know, there's a whole bunch of car stuff that still has to get done, but I, I don't mind recording other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for real. Um, so let's get back to this breakdown, man, because I, I want to be willing to hear this shit. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so last time, I believe that they saw the motor which i think was on it was a while ago it was a new project car number three it was the only thing added to it or did we no we did another super update yeah but it was still a while ago. it was definitely a more than two months okay ago. so this one's going to be a major update i told you all about the list and the computer stuff i have 99 percent of that done so we're all finished here so last time you saw the car um the I, gauges i didn't show them the gauges yeah, no, you didn't show them the gauge. I think really, I think 
everything else. No, because you. I don't think we did the wiring harness. Actually, I don't think you showed the wiring harness. I think oh, it was I in the box. It was in the box. Okay, so you take it out the box. Gets attached right here. Goes all the way around down in that hole. Comes down through here, underneath the manifold. Everything pulls up through the manifold and gets connected. Nice hidden. Here's your intake air temperature sensor. Um, that, there's my fans. I haven't hooked that up yet. So this thing. Hold on, you because you also really quick. Sorry to cut you off. You ran into an issue with your alternator wire, right? That's why you had to use this one, right? What do you mean? Like the one that you had. Or no, this didn't. is the one I had. I just I didn't you buy never the right had one. You never had a connect, is what it was, right? Yeah. So okay. I just bolted this wire to the OEM wire, and I electric taped it, electrical taped around it. So this way, nothing can happen. It won't spark or nothing, but it will charge the battery as the motor runs. Okay. So that's just what I did for now. Um, so things I still have to deal with. Yeah. My dipstick. I don't know why I ordered this dipstick for the rear sump oil pan and it's just not, it can't get connected to anywhere. What is it doing? It's just hanging there. Okay. It's in the hole in the oil pan, but it's just hanging there. So. Okay. Now, hold on. It doesn't go, it doesn't go into the block like mine does. It goes directly into the oil pan. Directly into the oil pan and then it gets bolted. You see, you see this bracket here? There's a bolt hole right here. And it gets bolted somewhere and there's literally nowhere it can get bolted to. We've tried everything with that. So we're still in the works. Might have to order a new one. Um, so I think the last time they saw it, the intake manifold was off. The fuel lines weren't connected. The turbo was halfway on the car. And this time it's all connected besides your piping, right? Everything's connected besides the hard pipes, correct? You got the drain. You got the feed. You got your, your sensors. The sensors, those are all hooked up. Yeah, I'm up. not going to lie. This shit is just... Oh, bro, I need, a new, I need some new piping. <laughs> um, what else haven't they seen besides the gauges? We'll get to the inside of the car. Um, I think that was it for the most part. And fluids, because fluids wasn't in there. Oh, yeah, But fluids. you can't really fucking, you can't really see that. I can show them what I used. Mm-hmm. Yeah, actually, I'll wait right here, because it's in the dark. Um... Yeah, so I, I'm like stupid excited to hear this shit. And to be anybody else that watches our videos, I'm pretty sure you guys are as well. It's been a lot longer than what has been posted on YouTube for us, but in general, like it's been a minute. But uh, every time we we work on this car off camera, we do just something small. It's been a while, but every night or every other night, we'll get something small done, so this way it adds up to like a day like this. But this is what I'm using for the transmission fluid. Came from Drift Motion, MT90 Redline Synthetic Oil. And then for the power steering fluid, I went to AutoZone and just grabbed some Valvoline Max Life. Hey, gets the job done. Hey, gets the job done. And it's made for Toyotas, so I made sure that was a fact, too. Yeah, and the beauty the beauty about older cars, they don't require all that stupid special shit, literally. Like, I love, I love, that's why I will never get rid of my integrity. As long as I'm alive, you'll see that with me until it gets passed on to my kids when they're ready for uh, real I'm, power. I'm getting it first. When, they, when they're ready for real power. <laughs> <He's gonna say. laughs> All right, so, um, well, you know, I know that it hasn't started yet, um, but this is a question that I think people want to know. I'm listening. What was the biggest headache when it came to actually getting all of this in here? Because this doesn't belong in here. This belongs no. in a Mach 4. And if you do not read... On Drift Motion's website, it specifically says what motor mounts you need if you're going into an 86 through an 87 or an 88 through an 89 chassis. Um, I bought the wrong motor mounts twice. That sucked. It took me, I want to say, two months yes. just for motor mounts to get it in the car. Once I got the correct motor mounts, five minutes, the motor was in the car. It was great. It was absolutely, I was so happy that day. It so was that, so stressful. So the motor mounts was your biggest issue. Everything else was smooth? Um, basically. All right. So then to save you guys the time, we will put a link to the motor mounts for this motor in the description so that you guys aren't making the same mistake. Oh, with the fuel and, lines too. Because I was stressing about the fuel lines. Okay. But, but we got them connected. There's no fuel filter, but we do got them connected with the factory 7M GTE fuel lines. 
So on the feed, which is on the back of the fuel rail, all the way over here, you can't really see it. Unless. Oh, we gotta get a light then for that, right? Yeah, let me grab a light real quick. <clears throat> on the back of the fuel rail, right here, is this annoying? Yeah. It looks uh, from this angle. Yeah. My finger's in the way too. Right there. This right here, right? Yep. Okay, so. I thought so. Hey, Siri, nobody said you. Okay. So, <laughs> with that being said. <laughs> Yo, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you have to leave your reaction just now that you just did in okay, the, in the video. Right. <laughs> You're looking like, what the hell? <laughs> My bad, go ahead. All right, good? Okay, so, when you yank out the 7M, you're going to be left with something like this with two banjo bolts and two fuel lines. The one that comes off the fuel rail, which is this, this side. Okay, you're going to want to disconnect that. And then it won't be long enough to reach the 2JZ fuel rail. You take off this plastic piece and it's a, just the metal line. Give me up a little bit. Yeah, I'd, uh, I'd realize. Okay. Because I was looking at that. There's just a metal line. And then you, once you take this off, you pop it out of the U-clip. There's a U-clip down there. And just push it up towards the frame. Once it's pushed up towards the frame, it clears no problem. And just bolts right onto the 2JZ fuel rail. On the return, just get any fuel line and just, it's just like a regular fuel hose. It just gets the hose clamped and just clamped on both sides and it's done. What? So did you buy a new line for the return or no? You just used the factory? I one? used the one that was in there. Okay. It reached. Okay. So, I don't know if that wasn't one that wasn't supposed to be on there. Or I don't know if that one was a factory one. But I know this one was factory. I don't know if the return was factory because who did work previous. But it reached, no problem. Right here. Yeah. yeah. Keep up with the lighting. <laughs> right here. It reached perfectly fine. And uh, put a hose clamp on there. Good to go. So, with that being said... Alright, listen. I'm impatient. We, we Start this bitch up, bro. I, I, I want to hear this shit. Let me get to the back for you guys. Before you, before he starts it up, though, we're going to take a look at uh, the gauges real quick. Oh, yes. I love it, yo. That X-Series? Well, I think the last time they saw this car, it had white gauges on the dashboard, which are so ugly. I don't know why they did that, but they did. And they cut up a couple wires, so I, I got it to work perfect. So, I'm going to check out my new gauges. Those things are sweet. I'm going to change the, the LEDs from green or the the basic. Oh, yeah, you you got to appreciate some good LEDs right? yeah. <laughs> on an older car. <laughs> These aren't LEDs. These are actually the factory light bulbs that came in at, when, at 1986 or 89. Okay, so you're going to actually get. Uh, I'm going to get white, I think, because I'll match those. Or like, you know, a, just a nice, a little bit brighter. I, I mean, think, I got the dim, dimmer right here. Okay, yeah. So I was going to say, if you have a dimmer, then like, white is crisp, bro. 100%. It's yeah. clean. But if we're talking about the gauges that I wired up, this man got the X series for both of them. <laughs> There's two ways you can tell it's X series. Ah, uh, hold on. The X series comes with two buttons as well as the numbers and or lettering, which this will have numbers eventually once he turns it on, uh, are more bulky. But, uh, yeah, let's get this started, up, bro. All right, let me just watch the laptop. Boom. You gotta Shit. get that door open, too. All right, so while you're doing that, let me grab a real flashlight. I mean, I know it's just a startup, but still, like, why not look at the exhaust? That's important. Right okay. Oh, no. Who is this guy? Uh, it has to be Lloyd, bro. I think Lloyd would be the only one to pull up or some shit like that. I feel like it's Lloyd too. It is Lloyd. Is it Lloyd? It's Lloyd, That's bro. Crazy.
<laughs> yeah, I told oh, you. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Yo. Yo. <laughs> yo, we're dead ass like, yo, this Who man. the fuck is this man? <laughs> yo. What I'm like, bro, hell? Lloyd Where's is the, the only Jetta? one I know that would pull up like this. Broke down. What happened? Gas pedal. Oh. Little electronic throttle body. Oh, what no. Yeah. Literally, as we were just about to first start this car, you pulled up and we're like, who is that? And you shot us with the light. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You. Yeah. Yeah. you guys weren't going to expect that, you know, to see the light coming in, so. Hell no. I mean, I wasn't worried, you know, I'm like, I ain't do no who's, shit. Whose car is this? It's my brother's. Oh, is this the one that's always in the... At the parking lot? Yeah, yeah okay. This guy right here. I was like, yo, what the heck is happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, go ahead, sorry, bro. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. All right, first start on the 2JZ Mark III Supra. Almost. We got somewhere so far. That shit sounds good as fuck. That shit sounds brolic as fuck. <laughs> yo. This man is gonna be. Yo. As soon as I try and give a guess. Bro, when people are behind you, they're gonna be like, God, nigga, this Hold shit. on. Um, so what are you doing right now? Um, the computer's saying we're not getting enough fuel because it's not tuned up for the fuel yet. And I don't know how to tune, I'm not gonna adjust with any of those fuel. So we're just gonna send max voltage to the fuel pump. Okay. We're not getting enough fuel. <laughs> we're not we're getting enough get fuel. fuel. Now we're gonna get all the fuel. Um, yeah, we got a very long wire. Hold this. Thanks. Um, okay. You want me to stay back here with it? Yeah. This is how they got through caves in the 80s. Yeah, right? They just put this wire down and then that's how they got back. They just tied this from one person to another so that they didn't lose them. Wait, what? In the cave? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, hold on. What the hell are you talking about? I forgot that we were talking about a cave. Yeah, I think, you know, you, I know where you're going with that. No. So they can't run off. <laughs> Can I get a light? <laughs> yeah, I got you, right? <laughs> Black is ground, blue is power. All right, now let me see if I got spark up here. If I got a spark, can you listen for the fuel pump? Mm -hmm. Can you listen for the fuel pump? I got a spark, so it's going to turn on. Boy, I hear, I hear that. Is it? Yeah. All right, let's get it started. Quick, where you fucking put it? Yeah, we're gonna. Took off the fuel pump. Yo, yeah. that was a successful first start. <laughs> yeah, it was. That Word. shit kicked mad fucking fuel on my ass, bro. <laughs> Yo. And he rubs it off. <laughs> ooh, ooh, that shit sounded nasty. Damn. <clears throat> That's without boost. That's without boost. I know. That sounds good. Something. 
Did yep. you hear that? Hell yeah. Those are the wiper motors. <laughs> <laughs> Should be stinking. Yeah. Sounds good. This man had fucking to... direct power straight from the fucking to, to the fuel uh, uh, yeah. pump. This man had fucking. You heard that shit just pouring in. <laughs> and then it just let out a bunch of white smoke. Yeah, as soon as you gave it a little bit of gas, like the first little bit of throttle, it just started to uh, sputter. And then it would just give the gas. And it would yeah. just fucking. It out. needs a definitely needs a tune, but we're a lot, we're kind of far from that. All right. But um, yeah, first start. Getting yeah. there. Soon, very very soon. Except you know, w- winter winter is uh winter's coming, so. Well, yeah. Which is perfect in a way because at least you know this way. There uh, it is. <laughs> take it, yeah. take his time, yeah. yeah. Take his take his time and uh, make sure everything is in. Obviously, nothing will be perfect, but almost perfect condition. But um, yeah, that, that shit was sounded the first good. First start, man. That shit, that shit sounded fucking. Yo, it came to life. <laughs> <laughs> like, Yo, from the first when you first tried to start it, how it sounded, as opposed to when you had uh, the straight power. power yeah, to totally the field different pump, cars. Completely different, bro. You remember how my shit sounded when uh, before I got tuned when I was on E85? Mm-hmm. It sounded like it was cammed as fuck, even though I do have cams. Yeah. And then when I got tuned, it sounded like it had a smooth idle. That's how it kind of sounded just now. So um. Still think your little four cylinder's gonna beat me? You hear that sound? Well, when the fuck did I say I was beating this? <laughs> I said you know, that when I get a built by the men, you gonna have some some troubles. But I still don't think I'll beat troubles? you. Troubles? Yeah, you also gotta remember you're just gonna spin, and while you're spinning, cause it ain't, it ain't winning, I'm pulling. That's fine. So yeah. I'm definitely I'm when spin I get some a, fucking more. <laughs> when I get a built by the men, you know the Mar Triple A's. You act like you're still not gonna spin. You gonna spin too? No, nah, I was just about to say really? I'm gonna have the Mar Triple A's. I kind of wanna watch that video. We shot it off pretty quick. I was going to let it idle for a minute. I'm 100% going to have slicks. I don't want to get too much carbon build up on that. Yeah, the reason, I, the reason I unplugged it is because it's just how much uh, fuel was coming out of the exhaust. Well, I mean, it started, but then it turned off. and it, I don't it's, want, it's, it's tuned. It has to be adjusted. The tune is yeah. not. I just don't want this shit to get flooded. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Too Bro, much it's carbon, spit too much all over me. Fucking, what's it called, yeah. fucking bitch. That's what happens listen, when, listen. You got, you know, when you see those taillights. I uh I gotta get out of here soon, so you know there's still uh, uh Lloyd right here would we'll be able to finish recording for this bitch. <laughs> Damn, yeah, I feel so like I feel like JJ Harris. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh yeah, yeah no so I, I gotta get out of here soon. Um I'm gonna finish you know talking with Chris I'm gonna get out of here but they're gonna finish recording it. So I will see you guys in the next one. They will see you guys in a few minutes.